Hi Taurus, this is going to be your Twin Flame reading for June 2019. This is going to be for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And if you would like to win a free reading with me, information is going to be down below. If you would like to book a private reading, information is also going to be down below. And my bracelets, which are on Etsy, will also be linked in the description box below as well. They start from £3. They're handmade by me. They are for, you know, intentions in different areas of your life, as well as Zodiac bracelets. They are adjustable and free international shipping. So, Taurus, Twin Flames, let's have a little look and see what is going on in your situation for June of 2019. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. got the Eight of Pentacles. Just going to say... Worth watching the Virgo reading. I always shuffle my cards through and through, but there's you know there's always these repeating cards that come out, and I just feel like some of, for some of you it, it just it just has to be heard. So I'm seeing that in terms of your twin flame situation, I'm seeing that the other person is working very very hard to get themselves on track to be able to communicate with you and to be with you. They're really working very, very hard to try and manifest themselves to a better place to come towards you. Because that's what they want to do. Two of Wands. It's like they've made up their decision. That hand is on that specific wand. They have made a decision. Page of Cups is very lucky as well. Yeah, okay, so another repeating card from the Virgo reading. We've also got the Devil, which is Capricorn energy. So got a, quite a bit of sort of, you know, earth elements coming through. Got the Six of Wands. So look at that, there's growth. We go from the Five, which is chaos and confusion, not knowing which way to turn, to then suddenly being on the right path. Victory, success, reunion. Progress, potential, celebration of two beings. So this is really what is happening is that there's so much growth. They are really working very, very hard on, the, on themselves. And I'm seeing in June that they will be ready to come forward to you and express something. So in June, there's going to be the start of expression. Because what I'm seeing is that from then on, it will grow. So what they're going to do, I feel, is... You know, I'm, I'm recording this in May, so I can feel, you know, current energies, and then I can feel June energies. So right now, I feel very much so that they're working hard on themselves. They're trying to get themselves in a much more secure place, whether that is financially, emotionally, you know, spiritually, mentally, physically. They're really trying their hardest to get back onto a really good track in their lives, because I feel a lot of them have been very confused in the path, whether that's with your situation with them. Or whether that is just simply in terms of, you know, multiple areas of their life taking away their time and their energy away from you. So they're really trying to get back to a much more stable ground. They're going to do that and they are also then going to come forward with communication towards you. They're going to communicate things across to you and with that page of cups they will be ready to offer you something. And we see that with the two of cups. You know, it's going to be mutual, you're going to both have love for each other and it's going to happen in divine timing. Because we have, you know, the angel there, right? So this is all about things happening when they are supposed to happen. Things, you know, happen this way because they were meant to. It was divinely led. And also with this page of cups, it represents that there has been a manifestation in your situation. There's already a fish in that cup. Now they are ready to really be able to offer you more. They've matured a lot as well. And they're no longer confused because we go from the five to the six and this indicates growth. Now they know they want to come towards you. They're going to put action forward as well because these are wands. And wands are fire energy. Fire energy is action, taking action, pursuing you as well. Again, you know, I mentioned this person has their hand on that wand. They know which wand they choose. They know where, you know, which direction they want to go in. They have taken action. They also have a globe in the other hand, which which essentially means that they've really done, you know, pros and cons, pros and cons. They've really weighed up 
every everything and now they know which direction they want to go in and that direction is in the direction that you are in and I see that so 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 clearly the devil here means that they're actually a little bit obsessed with you they definitely feel possessive they may not communicate this to you directly but you will find out in time through their actions that they feel very very possessive over you not only that but with this twin flame connection it is intense and sometimes they feel that it might be a toxic relationship or a situation because it feels like that you know it's so intense but what it is essentially is that that's just how the twin flame connection is it's it's so intense but it's actually very very powerful and it just connects them to you so they can't they can't walk away from you you know they feel like they're chained to you they feel that kind of obsessive possessive energy you know these two people are also chained to each other so you know it's very intense again another repeating card from the Virgo reading so a lot of you I feel like you know it's really worth watching that reading which is of course why I'm mentioning it I'm just going to pull two more cards and then we'll talk about the top row so we've got the nine of swords we've got the sun we've got the nine of wands and we've got the moon now we've got the moon and the sun counterparts. We've also got, you know, light and dark. This is balance. The moon and sun is balance. It's balance in the situation. It's able to, you know, you're able to really see things as they are, which is very, very important. For some of you, you may have been waiting in the situation for them to really evolve and come towards you very very common again with that nine of wands energy waiting for the other person to take action because you almost feel kind of helpless like you can't do anything in this situation for a lot of you it's that sort of helplessness of not knowing what's going to happen next um, again you know another nine so you've got two nines here sandwiched in between well kind of sandwiched right <laughs> the sun and the moon so you've got two nines and the sun and the moon this is about completing the cycle you know the moon is about cycles and phases and together you know the moon and the sun make up a cycle and phase in our day you know day and night day and night it repeats and it repeats and repeats the nines here are about closing things out you know if you're hurt over the situation and what's already happened in the situation then, you know, it's it's about healing yourself, forgiving, learning, taking time for yourself, being able to really get back to a better place. Because saying that you really want to still be with this person and they come back around and they offer you that mutual support and you want that as well. If you're still stuck in this energy, it's going to damage the connection because you're not feeling 100%. You know, you still have maybe trust issues. Maybe, you know, you just don't feel good within yourself. So this is really, you know, they're, they're saying here essentially that with the sun, you know, it's a really good time because the sun is ruled by Leo. Leo is about strength. To take this time, since, you know, the sun is also a very June energy because we transition from spring to summer, especially where I live. I know that in other places of the world, it can be autumn, it can be winter. So especially where I live, you know, there is that transition between you know, spring to summer, and, you know, that's essentially what is happening here. It's about using this time now to really feel more positive, learn, forgive, accept, heal yourself, go out in nature, spend time in nature, try and really nourish yourself with all of the things that you love to do, try and find the light in the darkness, you know, we don't want to be in this energy, I mean, this energy is normal, you know, to feel from, you know, you know, often, you know, we can feel these kinds of energies, but to be in this energy for a long period of time can be quite damaging. And especially if this is in regards to the twin flame, you want to be able to heal and be in a much better situation. I'm also seeing that, you know, in parallel, you both will be sort of working on yourself. So whilst this person, your counterpart, is working on themselves, you will also be trying to work on yourself as well. And I feel like a long, for, like, you know, a period of time, a little a long period of time, you know, you've been waiting for this other person to take action or to show how they feel or, you know, sort of communicate their thoughts to you and it just hasn't happened. But I feel like, you know, again, this cycle will get complete as well because I feel you're very, very intuitive with this moon card. Again, it's about cycles and phases, you know, completing the cycle, being able to focus much more on yourself uh, through these both of these energies and finding positivity and really healing yourself. But it's also about cycles and phases. You're extremely intuitive you've always kind of felt like this person would come back around and that's what I'm seeing happening here but it's when you are able to complete these cycles and not worry so much about what they're doing or you know uh, 
staying up awake, you know, just wondering purely about this particular person. It's it's really when things will start to evolve, start to happen, and you will feel much more confident within yourself because you're not waiting for them to take action. You take an action on yourself, which is the one thing you can control because, of course, you can't control another person. But, you know, your intuition has kept you in this situation thus so far, and essentially that is what is going to, you know, really help this connection also in the sense that when you're able to sort of move and move away and focus on yourself you know this person is in parallel working on themselves the moon is ruled by pisces you know this person is also working very hard on their emotions and they feel the strong connect to you and i think that when you're able to focus much more on yourself they feel even stronger towards you because that's kind of how twin flame connections you know work with the runner and the chaser and i'm seeing that happen so best thing you can do is really just focus on yourself Put all of that energy into yourself and you will be so surprised at what will happen. So Taurus, this is your reading for June 2019, Twin Flames. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. If this resonated with your situation, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, if, you have, if you haven't already, and thank you so much to those of you who have, don't forget um, to check out the description box below for the free reading giveaway, private readings paid private readings and also my bracelets which are on Etsy. You can follow me on Instagram if you'd like to. It's just a um, personal Instagram, but you can if you would like to and I'll see you all very soon. Take care everyone. Bye!